Hey everyone, it's John Donnelly. I'm at the University of Illinois with Dr. Brian Allen, who studies the ecology of infectious diseases. Uh, today I'm going to ask him some questions about Lyme disease, the prevalent of, prevalence of tick-borne diseases in the state of Illinois, and the spread of them. And one of the goals of this campaign, one of the main goals, is to find a new, more accurate diagnostic test. How does the evolution of these different tick-borne diseases um, bring up a, a challenge well, for us? Yeah, and this is a challenge we have with infectious diseases in general, which is that they can evolve a lot faster than we can. Most infectious diseases are caused by living organisms, bacteria, protozoa. These are things with really fast generation times. They're capable of really rapid genetic change. And so part of what's going on is new pathogen species are evolving. Uh, or some of them are just new to science and have perhaps been around for a while. But some of these we think are genuinely new organisms. And then even within a species like Borrelia burgdorferi, the agent that causes Lyme disease, there can be all these different strains that are selected upon. And so because of that, it can be very hard to even know that these organisms exist, yeah. uh, much less come up with tools for diagnosing disease in humans that are caused by those organisms. Right. Is there anything that we can do to stop the spread of these diseases? Can we interrupt the uh, life cycle of the ticks? Yeah, I think we can. There's probably not just one solution to that problem. It's mm -hmm. probably a combination of solutions. Thinking about how we modify our environment, and in particular how that can create a rich landscape for new pathogens to emerge or for tick populations to achieve high densities. This is a, a cascade of events associated with landscape change and other changes to the environment that then change the wildlife communities that are present in areas. As certain wildlife species become very abundant. Those can be wildlife that are associated with these tick-borne disease cycles. Mm -hmm. These include animals like white-tailed deer and rodents. And so knowing how these changes occur at least give us a starting point for trying to prevent further changes to our environment that may be exacerbating the tick-borne disease problem. And then on top of it, there are some interventions that we may consider as well. Yep. Can you talk a little bit more about some of the projects you're currently taking on in the Allen Lab? Sure, I'd, I'd be happy to. So one of the big questions we're interested in in my lab is, how are these ticks and these pathogens moving to new areas? And so this is essentially invasion biology, which ecologists study all the time. Most people have probably heard of invasive plants. This is a phenomenon where humans introduce a new species of plants into a new area. It's very successful and it spreads. Mm -hmm. The same thing can happen with ticks and with pathogens. And we're interested in knowing what is the pattern by which that occurs. Where do these ticks pop up yeah. first? And we're also interested in knowing why. Ticks can't move very far on their own. And so it's very likely that it's wildlife that are moving these ticks around. But we want to know which wildlife. And are they stopping in certain places? Or are these ticks popping up in a certain place first? And if we know that, can we do something to try to prevent that from happening? Mm -hmm. So that's one of the big ecological questions we're working on. And then we also do work here in the lab where we test ticks for pathogens. And among other things, we're trying to develop new tools for finding these different types of pathogens that can right. occur in ticks so that we can capture as much of this information as possible. Thanks so much for speaking with me today. I really appreciate it. You know, one of the goals of this campaign is really to make it a collaborative effort. So I've been speaking with patients, doctors, now we have a researcher. We know we need to attack these diseases from all different angles. So really appreciate you speaking with me today. My pleasure, John. Good luck with your campaign. Thank you.